Beaver Street Buddies, this is Federal Farmstead. My name's Tyler. We have plenty of stuff to do today, so let's get after it. Well, our butcher called us. Otis. Otis gotta say good morning. Donkey. Anyhow, our butcher called us yesterday and said that he would have an opening for us to bring over our beef a week or two earlier than we, what we had scheduled. So we're gonna get the old Massey fired up, hook up to the trailer, and get the trailer backed in and try to load Besser today. She's going to freezer camp. Can't wait to have meat in the freezer. Sarah gave me barking orders before we do the load the beef. I gotta bring hay and water over for Otis. Not Otis, Bill. Sorry, Bill. Huh, ran out of petrol. That's your problem. Ain't got no gas in it. One day I'm gonna, there's a, there's an old fuel tank in the basement, heating old fuel tank. One of these days I'm gonna drag that out of the basement. I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna get it filled up with no ethanol, gasoline. They're running my tractors and stuff. Why you gotta drip, 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 drip. Do, 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 do. So, but five gallons is a half a tank. That's enough for a while. Okay, old Massey, let's start up. Like a dream. Works great when it's got fuel in it. Trailer engaged. See if we can do this. Oh, Massey works great for pulling trailers. Almost like, almost like it was made to do it. Hey, you don't have to get up so high about it. I haven't, I haven't quite figured out how to work the, the three point. It, it, the draft on it or whatever. I don't know. It's too aggressive. I don't know. If there's something I can adjust. Just haven't done it yet. Haven't looked into it. All right, stop farting around. Put her in high gear. Let's go. High gear. Engage. Do you want me to stand on the other side of the gate? No, I want you to see on that side of the gate. I'm scared of her pushing that. It's fine. Hey, go, turn around. Hey, 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 turn around. There you go, go, go. That fell. Got his back end. Boo boo. Okay, Besser. Thank you for cooperating. You may have that bucket as a snack. That worked much better than T-Bone. Much better than T-Bone, hey Sarah? Yeah. We learn, we learn from our mistakes. When we took T-Bone to butcher, he jumped over the fence. He dang near, he was ready to jump over the fence over to the road. My, my blood pressure, I don't think it could have got any higher. Woo! But that worked generally smooth. We're figuring out systems yet, but that worked. Are you happy, Sarah? Because guess what? In a week, we're going to have meat in the freezer. Woo! 
maybe I'm more excited than Sarah. <laughs> okay, we have a new member of the Fetters Farmstead work crew. He's a little noisy. He's a little hungry this morning. He's a little cantankerous. But he's cutie. Like most of us are. Huh? Welcome, Mr. Biggs. Hey, big boy. You just want scratches. You just want scratches. Man, you're a needy pig. This is our new boar. New Berkshire boar. But, but you're too freaking friendly. Get out of here. You're a little football player. Hey, you're a little football player. You want scratches? So me and Sarah ran up to Troy, Pennsylvania, somewhere up there, I forget, and picked this little feller up a couple weeks ago. Was it a couple weeks? No, it was a week and a half ago. So, so yeah, he's our, he's gonna be our new stud muffin. He's a friendly as a puppy dog, puppy dog. Can't wait till he's about 600, 700 pounds. And he'll be a real old puppy dog. Hey, buddy. How to feed you. Got that rump shaker. Look at that butt. He got a massive booty, bud. You're a big boy. You're gonna be a big boy. So, like I said, he is a registered Berkshire boar. Full blood. I don't know the lines. I got him from a nice breeder up north. And I'm hoping for big things because his data, his dad was big, probably seven, eight hundred pounds. So I'm hoping he'll be plenty big to breed fancy, make some babies, and get the hold spots and have plenty of babies with him. So at least that's my hopes. That's my dreams. Mr. Beef is still on the farm. We haven't got rid of him. If somebody would want him. I would consider selling, trading something for Mr. Beef if somebody really wants him and wants to do IPPs. He's got good lines, good genetics, but um, we're going a different way. So that's just the way it is for us. And I'm not going to just get rid of Beef for the sake of getting rid of Mr. Beefy because I still think he has plenty of life left and he's only two and a half years old. So couple more years he could definitely service some ladies and do something for somebody but this guy here is our future yes sir okay let's continue to do chores Okay, let's go to the butcher. Chores are done, everybody's fed. It's time to put Besser in the freezer. Well, there we are. Chores are done. Big job of the day of taking Besser to the butcher's done. Going in for lunch. When we're done with lunch, going back out to the shop. Typical daily life right now. We're back to winter, it's cold. We ain't doing a bunch outside. But we're still doing. Well, 
Today's gonna be a good day to work in the shop this afternoon. It's raining. Uh, I got a new starter for the Massey Ferguson 85. We're gonna put that in and see what, what we can do. Uh, I think it's got a couple valves sticking. So we're gonna have to pull the gas tank off, which we gotta pull the gas tank off regardless because, oh, let me crawl up here. The gear on the steering wheel shaft pin broke. So we gotta pull, we gotta pull the tank so we can pull the steering wheel the steering box that thing in there right in there the steering box gotta come out so we can fix the gear so the loose nut behind the wheel can connect to the wheel which can connect to the front tires so we we're working on this thing i uh pressure tested the radiator that's got a leak so we gotta Pull the rad out, send that out to get repaired, hopefully, because I couldn't find a new replacement on line. So that might be an issue. We'll see. You know, working old tractors, there's always unexpected problems and issues and take care of it one way or the next. So we're gonna get a box get the top end cleaned off and pull this gas tank. That's gonna be the first job as soon as I maneuver some junk out of the way. Well, after I don't know how long, an hour or two fighting with it, I got it out and the forbidden moosterd the gearbox. So this thing was definitely Farmer fixed the, the split collar at some point in time was booger welded. Uh, we're not we're not restoring this tractor, but I'm gonna still try to see if I can find a replacement for that, or maybe Papa Law can uh, fabric cobble something. He's good at that stuff. So, yeah, I got the shaft off, the box out. It is 60, 70 year old grease that surprisingly is still grease. So, get this thing torn apart, broken down, cleaned out. We'll repack it with some modern grease and fips it not too bad not too bad all right let's see if we can get this old gas can ripped out and uh remove this steering shaft the rest of the way well that wasn't even too bad i didn't holler i didn't cuss just basically came right out once i got some things taken care of but all right so the next step is get this valve cover clean taken off and uh get some pv blaster sprayed down on on the valves get these valves working again and uh once we get that happening then we're gonna get the carburetor cleaned up and get that hooked up and maybe we might have to redo some of this wiring because it definitely has seen uh, the better days when you start seeing the green fuzzy stuff that's uh, not a very good sign but we'll get it cleaned up see if we can get the old the old girl running again and then we'll just keep on moving on we'll fix the radiator get a new rag joint for the steering and you know we're not gonna we're not gonna redo her 
This isn't a, rest a restoration job. This is a get the old girl fired back up again and get her back working, 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 working. All right, I want to see what this stuff looks like underneath. My wife's texting me. So let's get a wrench or a socket. Too big. Big iron on his head. Woof. This don't look too great. But uh, it don't look entirely bad either. Most of this junk came off of the valve cover. Clean it up a little bit. A little bit. I'm going to take my favorite the old uh, PB Blast Master. Spray it down. Try to get it down in these valve guys. Not really too worried about it. My uh, my shop vac couldn't get in real deep. So we're gonna have to figure something out on on that, but take the, the old tappy tappy tap. Yeah, valves are a little stiff. Some of them are working good. Some of them aren't working at all. Just rinse and repeat. Spray her down and whack her with a hammer. All right, we're gonna call it quits. Sarah's hollering supper. So I got all the valves moving. All of them are working pretty good except for this one here. I'm not sure what it is. If it's a, it's probably an exhaust valve. Yeah, it's an exhaust valve. So this uh, push rod isn't pushing at all so i don't know if it lost a cam lobe or i don't know and maybe it's just stuck and won't move so that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today we'll figure work on this tomorrow maybe but uh we'll get somewhere all right see you love you bye see you in the wash keep it on the sunny side